Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video and today I'm going to show you how to freeze your columns in your databases or tables in the Notion application or Notion website. So now I want you to connect to your Notion web portal or you can just simply uh, open your Notion desktop application and then follow these simple steps. Here in this example, I'm going just to start a new template uh, which contains a database or some tables so I can show you how to freeze them. So uh, basically, there is no uh, direct uh, option or direct uh, feature or settings to freeze your uh, to freeze your columns. But there are some alternative solutions that you can do to work with your columns that are far. Uh, in for example, let's just add these ones here. Let's name it for example text. And as you can see, instead of just uh, scrolling left and right, we want to uh, freeze our call so basically the only solution that you can do is to create uh, a replica or a duplicate of a column in your table so you can reach it whenever you are scrolling with your table to do so we are just going to do a simple trick and use uh, a simple formula so let's take for example uh, the name uh, field or the name column so let's just go here to properties or let's uh, have a new one and the property will be a formula so here the formula and we are going to name it uh, the same as our uh, name column so we can recognize it here and let's just have it name uh, like that let's uh, for example uh, name it name two or name duplicates for example duplicate and then we are going to add our formula and then we need to go like here now we have our uh now we have our uh column that is called name which is the duplicate of this one so whenever we are going uh to scroll in our uh table we are going to see our column so basically after you name your property or your column you will need just to click on any line or record of uh the column formula and then you will choose uh, the name or uh, the field that you have chosen so here I have chosen to have a name here and then just click done and you will have all uh, let's go like that let's adjust our uh, column and as you can see uh, my formula or my column has copied exactly uh, the same field or the same records or uh, names from this column so basically whenever i'm going to scroll even if i don't have this one freezed but i can see uh, the informations that are in this column here in this duplicate so basically this is the only solution that you can do to freeze your column or to have something similar to the freezing effect thank you for watching and see you next time